I am Nandita Singh and I work as a research scientist at the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. Okay. I'm Om Prakash Singh and I'm visual anthropologist and we are working together on water resources management. Okay. And um, what's your passion? What do you why are you here? Well, both of us are actually anthropologists. I am a social anthropologist and as he will explain, he's a visual anthropologist. And therefore, we have a lot of compassion for people, the communities out there who, are, who lead uh, their daily lives in great difficulties. And water is one of the main issues that is confronting water crisis in different ways, is confronting the people. So we want as anthropologists that their water crisis should be resolved and they should have enough water and they should have access to safe water. And that's the basic reason why we do our daily work, for instance, as well as we come, we decided to be here to push their cause, to really make sure that something happens on the ground and people have what they should have. Yeah, yeah the, this forum has provided us a great opportunity where we can share our own findings and present our findings from northeastern hilly region of India, yeah. especially Nagaland, where the water crisis is very acute. Basically, this is on climate change and water, and this is the case from northeastern hilly region of India, especially Nagaland. And this area is supposed to be the wettest, one of the wettest places in our country, India. Uh, we have been visiting Nagaland since almost two years, and we have traveled throughout the areas. And irrespective of district, block, and villages, we have found very acute crisis of water. And we have seen the children, and this our this is our finding, fact finding about water crisis in Nagaland, and we have documented it visually to present this case at this prestigious forum to understand the water crisis in this state, which is which has got uh, so much of rainwater, in spite that they have gone into the crisis, they are running into the crisis, and this exhibition, this photographs highlight the crisis, water crisis situation of Nagaland. See, we can see that this lady, this lady is virtually taking water from nowhere, nowhere. And it would take perhaps maybe one hour to get a mug of water. And similarly here we can see children, a man, getting water. I don't know what they're doing basically, they're fishing water in fact. They are slicing the water with a spoon. And similarly, the situation is the same in winter as well. We can virtually see a lady taking water from the leaf here. She has inserted that leaf inside the hole of the rock and she will, she is getting that water drop by drop. And the people are facing the impact of climate change each and every moment. We are talking of climate change that, that will take place after 50 years and 100 years. Yeah. But we are not trying to realize that climate change is happening and people are facing the impact right now. And, and that's why we have come to this region to see this, yeah. the wettest region of the world, how the situation stands today because of climate change. Yeah. So it's high time that instead of talking high at the level of global policy and designing actions at global level, we should start looking at the communities in reality yeah. and try to find out ways and means to counter these problems, to uh, develop proper responses. We are talking of adaptation, we are talking of mitigation, but what it should be like, it has to be learned and it has to be designed in the local context. So the people of Nagaland, they present a concrete case where climate change is making its impact. And the people have to be involved in this process if we want to really find a solution for their problem because water is their life and without water their their life and their economy is in, is in jeopardy. Okay. And so what, what was your name again? Because I am Nandita Singh yeah. uh, from the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. And I am O.P. Singh. Yeah. We are working together. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and thank you. one thing more I wanted yeah. to add. It's not that the people are not fighting, uh, coping up with the adaptation practices. They have adopted many mechanisms to uh, sort out their crisis, but they have always failed because the like cl impact of climate change is so visible there mm -hmm. that one adaptation after other has been failing there. Yeah. So it's not that the people are not trying to find out the solution, but the 
they are not able to get the real sustainable solution. Sustainable. Sustainability yeah. of the solution, solution is a big Solution is problem. very big problem. That is why they, they are suffering so much. So we have to intervene in such way. Yeah. At the that, global level, yeah. we have to develop an understanding as yeah. to what happens at the local level. And and the design of the global policy and global action should be such that these local problems are effectively addressed. And I'm very Good. thankful. I'm very thankful for the uh, Swedish Water House and CV yeah. that they provided this forum, yeah. such a prestigious forum where we could present the case of Nagaland yeah. so as to educate the, all the uh, international players in this sector to be educated and get sensitized about the issue and plan immediate a sustainable intervention so that this people's problem is really solved. Yeah. This is our, my expectation as well as the expectation of people of Nagaland from this forum. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.